right, we are approaching Mohawk, New York. We made it to Mohawk, New York. Uh, Mohawk is a town in New York with a population of 2,379. It's located in Herkimer County. And what, what else is uh, going on here in Mohawk, New York? Let's find out. The medium house costs around 79,000. Rent here is 600 bucks. About 62% uh, of individuals own their own home. And according to Niche, overall Niche gives this town a grade of B minus. B minus for public schools, B minus for housing, B good for families, uh, C plus gets a is given for nightlife so nightlife gets a c plus a minus for crime and safety that's good and b minus for diversity so fairly small little village we're gonna walk around and do a little exploring i see a lot of empty storefronts little photography studio and looks like they have a little gas station right in the center of town let's cross wait all right we can go run 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 mister so there's a little market there, super small, but it's a super small little village. This way, bud. So far, not a lot going on in Mohawk, New York, but we'll keep on exploring. Another photography studio. Here we have Pasano's Pizza. Maybe we'll give give it a taste test. We'll see. Not feeling very hungry right now, but we'll see. Plumbing, business, okay. All right, I don't like the way the sideway sidewalk is missing and the cars are just flying by. So, let's wait for the red light. Come on, let's walk this way. Let's see what the folks of Mohawk have to say about this town. 
the Mohawk Valley is completely encompassed by beautiful and breathtaking scenery. If only a few minutes, I'm sorry, in only a few minutes, you can experience nature, including ponds, lakes, woods, meadows, state parks, and a variety of wildlife. Yeah, look at this little church over here. Um, an abundance of outdoor activities can be experienced, including swimming, hiking, biking, fishing, boating, hunting, four-wheeling, going on nature walks, and observing animals. In the north, there's the Adirondack State Park, and in the south, there's the Catskill Park. Even closer to Mohawk, the unique views from the Shoemaker Hill and the Bikerman Hill just outside Mohawk. Uh, in addition, pollution is almost non-existent due to the lack of big companies and factories. All right, well, if you had to take a guess, this guy gave this little town a five-star review. All right, let's see what else we can find. Look at those sunflowers, Eric. Aren't they pretty? Ah, uh, they're too big. They can definitely use um, some road work here. Look at that cool mansion, purple mansion. Look at those sunflowers, Eric. I'm not going to rip it. I'm just going to look at it. Very cool, huh? Look how tall they are. At least 10 feet, 12 feet tall. Almost touching the roof, right? All right, so this gentleman writes, or maybe it's a missus, I don't know. It's a niche.com. Uh, there are many small shops throughout the Mohawk Valley in which you can buy a variety of things. Even if you cannot get something, the city of Utica is only 20 minutes away. Here, there are even more small shops and a bigger shopping mall and shopping center. Closer to Mohawk, there are stores like Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Sears, Lowe's, and a Walmart. Since Mohawk is a small town, we rely on many small, individually owned stores too, which is nice. Mom and pop shops give small towns their character. So. I see a lot of folks outside of their homes just hanging out on their porch. Watching the cars roll by. Hummels, what's over there? Hummels office supplies or something all right we're gonna make a u-turn so down this way just a bunch of residential homes we're gonna head back toward the main centrals what street is this could you tell me main street thank you appreciate it i, I should have figured that much we are on east main street Right. Yes. Check out that line at the door. A... All right. We are approaching the Purple Mansion. So this here is a restaurant, I do believe, Mona's Diner, but it's closed, so, huh, interesting, Mona's Diner, in the back, we got the Chinese restaurant, 
that every small town seems to have. So I guess the last thing for us to do here in Mohawk is try out the Hasano's Pizzeria. Give them a taste test. Doggy grooming. Look at these guys. Hi, buddy. Aww. We're saying hello, Eric. Oh, yeah. Oh. Which one are we going to take home? Let's take this guy home. <laughs> Cute. Alright, let's check out. Alright, so we got the pizza. And it's very, very, very hot. And looking really, really, really good. So we're going to take it to the car, hopefully it cools off a little, and give it a taste test. Come on. There's a bar across the street. All right, we made it to the car. Bye. Payasano's Pizzeria. It's got 4.5 stars according to the Google reviews. Look at all that cheese. Wow. It's going to drip. I'm going to grab a small slice. Oh, it's super hot. It just came out of the oven. I'm going to let it sit a little bit before I burn myself. Actually, yeah. We'll let it sit. There's a lot of oil, thin slices with lots of cheese. The cheese is going to come off. Yeah. It's coming off. Look at that. That's a nasty. Mm -mm -mm. That's way, that's like extra, extra cheese, Eric. All right, we'll let it simmer a little bit. It's still kind of hot. Take two in a couple of minutes. There's a building. Antiques Mall, and they have apartments, I do believe, in the back. Pretty cool. Head west toward East Main Street. If you're into antiques, if that's your cup of tea. Turn right onto East Main Street. I listened to Google Maps. She tells me what to do, like the wife. There's a restaurant called the Mohawk Station. Get a shop over there. It's got some trolleys, piece of decor. Very nice, very nice. All right, so the only thing that's left to do is to pull over and try a slice. Dam over here. Very pretty backdrop. Perfect fishing spot. Let's try this pizza, shall we? Get up in a second. Oh, the cheese just fell off. I give these guys an 8.0. Eight point oh. That's the final score. Even with some of the cheese falling off, absolutely delicious. Cool. On we go.
how good of a fishing spot is this right here i can definitely spend a whole day out here there's some folks on the boat very nice another guy fishing down there that's what you do in Mohawk you enjoy the outdoors plenty of things to do